Hello, League City. We are going to be getting some cold and even freezing temperatures over the next couple of days. So I've brought in Ryan Edgehill, who is our emergency operations manager with the city. So Ryan, let's talk about first when these cold temperatures are coming in and when is the most likely chance of a freeze? Yeah, so uh, if you've been outside uh, this morning at all, we kind of had the first front come through very windy today and cooler uh, than it's been, but no chance of uh, really freezing or hazardous weather other than the strong winds um, today. Uh, tomorrow will be a nice day, like in the 60s. Sunday will so, be a, or Saturday yeah, will be a nice day. Enjoy Saturday, uh, whatever you need to get done preparation-wise. Uh, and then uh, Sunday, the kind of second reinforcing front comes through. Um, and so Sunday, um, late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, it starts getting cold. we got a chance of freezing then. And then basically Sunday through Wednesday morning, um, we've got a pretty good chance, likely will be freezing, especially um, Monday and Tuesday mornings. So we're really looking over for those freezing temperatures mainly overnight, per se? Then? Yes, yes. It, it's possible that we don't come uh, above or get very close to freezing. Um, like on Monday, we might be in the low, mid-30s. Okay. Um, but likely... Uh, for our area, we will at least pop right above uh, freezing those days. So really overnight is when we'll, when we'll be in this freezing. So program. folks should really be prepared for Sunday night and for Monday and for Tuesday. I mean, you should really have everything wrapped up yeah, you on should, Saturday. You should, basically, you've got Saturday, again, a, a kind of a nice weather day. You've got Saturday to make any final preparations that you need to make uh, for your home, your family. So let's talk about those preparations, yeah. the four Ps, as the we know. The four Ps, yes. So uh, pipes, plants. Uh, people and pets. Oh, okay. uh, the National Weather Service puts that all the time. You've seen that on our on our social media. We push that all the time. Basically, if you've got any exposed um, water pipes anywhere, they need to be wrapped with insulation, um, faucet covers, uh, those kind of things. If you can't get faucet covers, again, just wrapping with towels, insulation, whatever mm -hmm. you can, whatever you can get. Um, uh, any type of uh, plants uh, you got, especially tropical plants in this area that are susceptible to cold, bring those in. Um, if they can't be brought in, make sure that they are covered uh, to protect them from frost and freeze as best you can. Um, do not leave any pets um, outside yeah, in the freeze. Yeah. Obviously, I, I know uh, you know folks still do have outdoor pets, outdoor mm -hmm. dogs, those kind of things. Please uh, bring them in. Make sure that they've got a a warm, safe spot out of the weather. Um, and then, you know, most importantly, uh, people. So yeah. make sure that you're prepared. Warm blankets. Um, if you've got uh, generators, make sure you've got fuel for generators. Um, just, you know, kind of make sure you're, you're prepared to hunker down for a couple of days if you need to. Um, you know, we always say if it does ice over for any reason, um, you know, there is a small chance of some precipitation uh, along with this, mainly to our northern areas. But, you know, it's not a zero probability mm -hmm. for us. Um, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. I mean, it, it's a great time to watch a movie, eat popcorn, hang out, <laughs> stay warm, cuddle up under blankets, you know, just, just keep yourself at home. And MLK Day is Monday, so a it's lot a of holiday, people, it's a holiday, great. so You're schools will be closed. Anyway, yes. You're already home anyway, so if you don't have to go out. Um, you talked a little out, bit about precipitation. Do we think that might cause any icing on the roads? And then, then of course, people go, oh, my gosh, well, we have yeah, any snow so, flurries. Or... So, again, it's not a zero chance, but it's a pretty low chance right now. Now, again, with all forecasts, that can change. Yeah, yeah. In 30 minutes, I could get a totally different forecast. I don't know. But as of right now, not a zero chance for us. Um, but really like uh, the far northern parts of our region, north of the Houston metro area, is really more susceptible uh, or more apt to get, uh, to get any type of precipitation. Um, from what I've seen, uh, I don't see anything that looks like wintry precipitation. I'm more concerned that we would get some rain mm -hmm. and then we would have some wet rows that would then freeze in the evening. Um, it could be dangerous. So again, be, it's once again, if you don't have dangerous. to go out on the roads. You don't have to go out. Now, go out. we all are, are a little concerned, I think, about what happened during um, Winter Storm Uri Absolutely. two years ago. Absolutely. And the situation with with no power. Are we, how are we feeling about that with ERCOT? And As of right now, I don't see anything that um, concerns me. Um, but again, as always, uh, that could change. Um, I've not seen any power generation warnings come out. Um, you know, and, and take everything with a grain of salt, but um, there have been improvements um, to the grid. Again, since beyond since beyond my years, control, but because of URI, yeah. there have been there have been uh, quite a few improvements. I, I would really um, rank this more along the lines of if you remember last Christmas, Christmas yeah. of twenty two, yeah, um, when we had a pretty minor freeze event. I, yeah, this looks more like that uh, than it does like 
like Yuri in 21, much more like that. So I'm not concerned of another repeat of, of Yuri. Now, again, forecasts can change, things can <laughs> right. change, but as of right now, it doesn't look anything like so that. So final words for residents? Uh, take care of yourselves. Um, take care of your, your homes. Um, again, make sure you wrap those pipes, busted pipes. Um, are not only a huge uh, inconvenience for you, but they're a huge draw on our water supply and mm -hmm. system. You know, you have uh, uh, pipes busted everywhere. We can lose pressure and have water issues, uh, which is always a problem. And then again, just uh, the people piece of it is, is so big. Uh, reach out to your neighbors, reach out to your loved ones. You know, if you know someone who uh, may be having a hard time, yeah. um, just make sure that they're taken care of and they've got what they need as well. Well, thank you, Ryan, for giving us this important information. And as always, over the weekend and into next week, we'll be putting updates on our Facebook page and on LeagueCity.com. Uh, so stay tuned, but most importantly, stay warm.